Coming up, we're going to be talking about the D23 Expo Day 1, which includes the animation panel and also the Disney Legends. What's up everyone, Roger here from the Disney Kingdom Daily Show with a special Saturday edition because there's been so much news on the Friday from the D23 Expo, which is currently taking place in Los Angeles. So there's a couple of different panels, Number, there's so much news coming out of yesterday, so I'm just going to go through some of the major points here. The main thing was, um, first off, the animation panel, um, which featured all the movies from like Pixar and also Disney. Um, you had loads of people on the guests. I got a few like pictures and stuff here that were sent officially um, because they did block any streaming or any photographs coming from the event. So it's kind of like watching Umbrella like Twitter. Um, so at the event, they kind of showed off tons of bits and pieces of news. So I'm going to read out some of the bits and pieces while you guys look at some of the pictures. So first off, um, on the stage, they had pretty much everyone. John Lester, who is in charge of Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios, was there. He was shooting out his um, well-known um, T-shirts and sort of Hawaiian shirts out into the audience. Um, we saw Coco. Um, there was a new um, performance of Remember Me. That one's going to be coming out on November 22nd. Obviously, they would kick off for that one because that one is the main one. There's also like a new poster that was given out to people there featuring a skull guitar. Um, Olos Frozen Adventure, which is a 22 minute short, which is going to be jumping in just before Coco. Um, obviously, so they had um, Joyce, Josh Gad. And they also had um, Kirsten Bell there as well. Um, the Incredibles 2. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. They confirm that it's going to be taking place straight after the movie. Hitting cinemas on June the 15th, 2018. Um, so it's going to be carrying off where they left off. But they're also going to be introducing new allies and a brand new villain. And it's very much about a family film that just happens to have superpowers. And they may have super speed and super strength. But the experience is the same problems as any other family. There's quite a bit about Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2, which um, is brought in an amazing new scene. Apparently, they brought together loads and loads of the different princesses, including Moana. You've got Anna from Frozen. You've got Merida from Brave. You've got Mandy Moore from Tangled. You've got Tiana from Princess and the Frog. You've got Pocahontas, Jasmine and Aladdin, and also you have got Belle and also Era. They're all on, they're all on stage at the same time. And they've all got special scenes. There's also stuff with um, Star Wars in there. There's lots. Because Wreck-It Ralph is going to be going onto the internet, it's very much going to be very buzz and very much kind of into everything. They've got a new character called Yes, with three yeses, who owns their own website, Buzzaholic, who knows every, about everything that's called on trend. So that looks pretty cool. There's also a untitled Disney Toon Studio film, which is going to be coming out on April the 12th, 2019. And it's about um, exploring the future of aviation, taking moviegoers to the edge of discovery to the air and beyond. Um, Toy Story 4 is set to come out on June the 21st, 2019. However, John Lasseter has actually stepped aside as director. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Frozen 2 um, will be in, um, coming out on November the 27th, 2019. So we'll see a little bit more about that. There's also a untitled Dan um, Scanlon movie. Who he is a guy that directed Monsters University. So his is going to be about um, it's about a story where who has lost a, a troll that has lost his father and is um, set on you know there's no humans on the earth. There's only elves, trolls, and sprites. And in the film, we're going to tell a story of two teenage bro elf brothers whose father died when they were too young to remember him. But thanks to the little magic that is still left in the world, the boys embark on a quest that will allow them a chance to spend one magical, one last magical day with their father. Um, so there. So that looks pretty cool. So I put up a few pictures here as well. Now, as far as the Disney Legends go, um, this is kind of like Disney's like Hall of Fame. So they inducted a number of different people in there, including. You had Carrie Fisher, you had Clyde um, Jerome, you also had Manuel Gonzalez, you also had Mark Hamill, um, Wayne Jackson, you had Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, um, Gary Marshall, you also had um, Juliet Taymor, Oprah Winfrey, and they also inducted Whoopi Goldberg as a last minute um, entry. So definitely cool, um, I mean Stan, Stan Lee got a major... Um, standing, track, um, standing ovation. Pretty much everyone got a very good reaction, but I think obviously Carrie Fisher, that was going to be a very kind of somber moment. But yeah, just a general massive, great big first day of D23. There's loads of images of new um, products out there. There's loads of other panels. We're going to be finding out a lot more, and that's definitely going to be a case of going through and just finding everything over the next few days for those of us that weren't there. 
Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll do another episode um, on Sunday looking back at what was announced um, from the park side of things. And we've also got the live action stuff. So, And there's also all the video game stuff. But I'll, that will be over on the Disney gaming site. So, yeah, tons of stuff coming out of the D23 Expo. Be sure you hit that subscribe button. Check us out on the audio versions. Check us out over at thiskingdom.com. And I shall see you guys in another episode. Laters.